I'm Kate Marshall, I am SENCO at a pupil referral unit. Uh, a SEND specialist, I would say, is um, anybody um, working with um, people with special educational needs and disabilities. I think children of uh, young people have always been anxious about going to school. Um, I think it has the amount of young people has increased um, as the years have gone on. I just I think a lot of um, young people have been more anxious since COVID when they were at home for a long period of time. And I think some young people find mainstream schools extremely traumatic places to be. Uh, why do I work with young people with anxiety and those that have been excluded? Um, I guess I, f I find it very re rewarding. I think you need to be a certain type of person to work with children with these challenges. Um, somebody has to do it, somebody has to work with these young people and actually building those relationships with these young people, they are so much much more grateful i would say when they you know you see them progress and you see them get better and it is really rewarding i suppose i have to, you know you have to be very thick skinned to work with these young people and you have to um it's a, you know it's a professional environment and sometimes it's got you know as, as i've been doing this for longer it's got better but um, I do take it home with me, as I think anybody does, uh, working with children with mental health issues. Um, but um, I would say building relationships is key with these young people. I've taught children who have been locked in their bedrooms for all, all day, every day, um, out of choice, um, not wanting to meet anybody at all. I've had to teach people over a computer who won't turn the camera on and won't speak to you over a microphone. And you're having to communicate with these people through a chat box, which is really, really challenging. Um, and I suppose there are other young people who spend their time in mental health facilities and receive education like in an outreach program and I suppose those young people are the ones that stick with me the most because they are the ones that perhaps have the most traumatic experiences in their short lives that they've had. Yeah. I've also taught um, young people who have not been able to leave their rooms, their bedrooms, they've stayed in their bedrooms um, for most of their day. They don't go out, they don't mix with other people, they don't have, they don't consider themselves to have friends anymore uh, because they're too anxious to leave their own bedrooms. And I've taught them online where they would not put their camera on, they wouldn't turn their microphone on, and I'm literally teaching a chat box. And these individuals um, can be successful, but they need an awful lot of support to, in order for that to happen. And it takes years of treatment to, um, so they can function in society. I've seen a lot more girls recently come to us um, who've experienced sex, sexual abuse in their lives um, and they can experience flashbacks, they have a lot of sensory needs, they, they don't like to touch, they, certain smells might trigger them um, and that they can be um, very traumatised by those experiences that they've had in their lives and find it hard to stay in a classroom.